Alright, now we need to talk about dividing decimals. Now before we get into the decimal part, let's just review our terminology for division. Remember, the number inside the house top there is called the dividend. It's what's being divided. The number that we are dividing into the dividend is called the divisor. Our answer is called the quotient. And if it doesn't divide in evenly, if we happen to have something left over, then we call that our remainder. Okay, so just keep in mind that terminology. When it comes to dividing decimals, the thing you have to remember is that we only divide by whole numbers. Now, so that means our divisor must be a whole number. So divisor must be a whole number. Just put a little mark there for that. Once we know that we're dividing by a whole number, then we just line up our decimals and divide as normal. So let's do a practice problem here and see if we can see what's going on. Here we have 27.3 divided by 7. So our divisor here is a whole number. That's exactly what we need. As long as the divisor is a whole number, we just line up our decimals and then we ignore them and we just start dividing like it was just plain numbers. 7 will go into 27 three times. 3 times 7 would be 21. When we do the subtraction, uh, 27 minus 21 would be 6. And then we drop our next digit and begin again. 7 will go into 63 nine times. 9 times 7 is 63. And it goes in evenly. There is no remainder. So our answer here would be 3.9. Now remember, you can always check your answer by going backwards, doing multiplication. If we wanted to check our answer, we'd have to multiply 3.9 times 7, and if we've done it correctly, we should get 27.3 as our answer. So here, 7 times 9 would be 63, so I'm going to carry my 6. 7 times 3 would be 21, plus 6 would be 27. And then remember, we have to deal with our decimals last. This is one decimal place. This is zero decimal places. So my answer must have one decimal place in it. So my answer would be 27.3. So this checks. This tells us that we did our division correctly. Now, what about if we had something that looked like this? 1.62 over 6. Well, remember, a fraction is really nothing more than a compact division problem. We could rewrite this using division. We could rewrite it as 1.62 divided by 6. And now we can actually see that as a division problem and begin working with it. Our divisor is a whole number, and that's what we have to have. So we're just going to line up our decimals and begin um, dividing as normal. 6 won't go into 1, but 6 will go into 16. Um, it'll go into there twice. 2 times 6 would be 12. Subtract. So let's see, 16 minus 12 would be 4. Drop our next digit, which is a 2. 6 will go into 42 7 times. 7 times 6 is 42, so it goes in evenly. There is no remainder. That tells us that our answer here is 0.27. Now again, remember, we could always check that if we wanted to, just to make sure we were correct. We could multiply the 0.27 times 6 and see if we get 1.62. So 0.27 times 6. 6 times 7 would be 42. 6 times 2 would be 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And here we have to move the decimal two places, no places, so that's a total of two. If we move it back in two places, we get an answer of 1.62, and so that checks.